Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how I managed to be the first person in the world to complete this track. It might not look challenging at first, but the further you get into the map the more tricky it gets. And the map is also underwater so the physics are not the same anymore. So let's take a look on how I managed to beat this map. The first checkpoint is just to climb over a wall. This is not really that difficult, because all you have to do here is enter the wall slowly and keep your car straight up the wall. And now when the first checkpoint is reached, we need to figure out how to get to the second one. And on this checkpoint we have to somehow climb over the wall. Which you do by crashing this right wall and hoping for your cars to bounce enough up. And when you have your two wheels on the border, all you have to do is crawl your way over to checkpoint 2. On the next checkpoint, there's three difficult things you have to do. First, you have to bonk the wall and climb up the wall just like the last checkpoint. And when you have one wheel on the border, you have to steer a car just enough for your car to get grip with your right wheel on the grass. And when you have that, you have the hardest part coming up. You have to go ahead and climb this scenery block. The first layer of the scenery block is not that difficult, because the wall that you're trying to climb up is facing inwards, which makes it easy for your car to just get grip and climb up. And the second layer took me over two hours to complete. And the reason why this is so much more difficult than the first one is that because the wall is facing inwards and not outwards. So it just doesn't make much sense how to complete this. But two hours later and some backseating from my Twitch chat, we figured out that all you have to do is take speed and bonk the wall on the lowest point. And then hopefully get some height just like we did on the other checkpoint. And when you have that height it's GG's. Because the last one is insanely slanted inwards and you can easily climb it. And slowly make your way into checkpoint 3. On this checkpoint you have to first climb up the checkpoint itself and then jump over to the black ledge. When you're on this ledge, you have to line up your car with your nose towards the wall. Then you have to travel across the wall with your nose facing towards the wall with a precise angle. And you have to keep correcting your angle with left and right movements. This trick has also been used in many khaki maps before, and if you don't know what khaki is, don't worry. And then if you do this correct, you will end up on the platform on the other side. Which takes us to checkpoint 4. On this checkpoint you have to do a ledge boost. And a ledge boost is performed by having only your front left wheel on the platform while facing the wall. Then you give full gas and your car will start climbing up the wall. Then you just have to do corrections for your car to go a tiny bit left and land on the platform. And then you just cruise your way over to the last checkpoint. Checkpoint 5. And here you have to go under the block where the reactor is. Then go straight out to the left and hit the left wall so your car sticks to the wall because you have the reactor down. Then go down and get grip under the block. Then crawl carefully forwards into the next reactor. And now when you've entered the reactor, you can take a breather because as long as you're on this reactor you won't fall off. Then when you feel like you're ready, you want to line your car up in the middle because now you're going to launch off and try to hit a ring finish in the air. So when I feel like I'm ready, I go for it. As you can see, I'm overshooting the finish. But luckily, I managed to sneak in on the back of the finish. And this is how I completed one of the hardest water maps in the game. And thank you Sasui for making this map. Without you, this video wouldn't be possible. I will have this map in the description if you guys wanna take yourself on a challenge. With all this being said, I hope you guys have a good day or night, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!